time now for the Cape QuickCast checking stories, making news as you head out the door. The latest step in a drive to protect Sedgwick County law enforcement. A nonprofit group says trained dogs should have protection every bit as much as mm -hmm. human officers. Cake's Lily Wu is live explaining what the four legged project is doing. Lily. Good morning, ladies. This, the Four Legged Project actually is a nonprofit organization that's wanting to provide protective vests for all canines here in the state of Kansas that are law enforcement officers. Now, the Sedgwick County Sheriff's Office was the first recipient of one of those vests yesterday, and that recipient was Canine Nimitz. Canine Nimitz received one of the uh, protective vests that costs just over $1,000 and is good for about five years. They're bullet and stab proof vests. Now, the four legged project is asking for more donations to provide those vests to those canines throughout the state of Kansas. If you'd like to learn more, go to cake.com and click on the story on Find It. Reporting live in Southwest Wichita, Lily Wu, Cake News. Also making news this Friday, we're entering our third severe weather alert day in a row, and we are sick of it. Ugh. Four people were hurt, though, when this tribal council meeting hall in South Dakota was turned into pieces. What happened there is being called a possible tornado. Friends in Salina held a vigil last night for Ali Som. Som was found Wednesday night inside a truck with a gunshot wound to the head. Five people are behind bars right now in her death. The Kansas House votes to decrease penalties for marijuana possession and allow the limited use of medical marijuana. First and second pot offenders without serious prior conditions would avoid jail time. The FBI fears hundreds of Islamic State members may be scattered around the country, lured into joining ISIS by slick messages on social media. Some of the latest messages urge followers to kill people wherever they are. The BBC is projecting Prime Minister David Cameron's Conservative Party will win a majority in the British Parliament. He plans to present himself to the Queen this morning. The federal government may have known about listeria problems with Bluebell ice cream factories two years ago, but no recalls were issued until three patients died at Bea Christi Health in Wichita earlier this year.